With, with Neil Grove, uh, Eddie Sanchez, I, I, my prediction was is if the fight wasn't going to go to the second round, um, I didn't know which way it was going to go, but Kenny Pavia, who manages Neil, had told me that Neil was in spectacular condition and was ready to go um, and, and was going to bring it, and this was a spectacular opportunity for him. He's going to take advantage of it, and boy, he did. He looked like a million dollars, and uh, he was everything that his management said he would be. Um, and a pleasure to work with, and has been great working with us. Really looking forward to seeing him make his way into the semifinals with us and uh, um, a very impressive heavyweight performance tonight by a very impressive heavyweight. Um, Magumi uh, continues to impress. Carla, who came in on late notice and did a terrific job in the first round, but just the skills that uh, Magumi Fujii has are world class. I believe that she's the best pound-for-pound -pound female fighter in the world. I think she continually shows it. She stepped into our cage. We've had the privilege of watching her two times now. Um, and she is just a, she's a pleasure to work with, and she's a pleasure to watch fight. Um, she's going to be a dangerous opponent for anybody in this tournament. But uh, she comes into it as a top-ranked woman in our tournament and, uh, and, again, put on a spectacular performance tonight. Technical and looked like a million dollars. Um, the gentleman to my right... I've said it before, I will say it again on the record, I think Hector Lombard's the best middleweight in the world. I watched the UFC event uh, last weekend, it was a great event and there was a great main event uh, on that card and I believe the man to my right beats both of the people in that fight. I believe he beats anybody that he steps into the cage with at 185 pounds. He is a dominant, dominant force at middleweight and mixed martial arts, the likes of which I don't think we've seen. Um, Whisper, I would like to thank you. The reality of this situation, you can talk to Matt, uh, to uh, Sam Kaplan. Um, Fourteen middleweights turned down the opportunity to fight this gentleman on my right. Fourteen middleweights said, I do not want to fight this man. And not a matter of saying uh, the money isn't right. Just before the negotiation started, said, I have no interest. And the gentleman to my left stepped up and said, I would love the opportunity to fight him. I'm from this area. I would love the opportunity to fight him. I will step up. I'll give it everything I got. It's a great chance, and he stepped up, and, and for that, I appreciate it. I thank him, and I would love to see him back fighting the Bellator cage again in relatively short order when we get back here. So, Whisper, thank you for stepping up making this fight happen. Uh, when we first started this company, the very first press conference I ever did was with a lady that is sitting over here to my right, and she was magnificent with the media, and she was charming, and everybody fell in love with her, and then she got injured and couldn't fight. And then we scheduled her again to fight, and this was in the first season we had, and we did a bunch of press and a bunch of media, and everybody was taken with her and thought it'd be great to watch her fight, and she got injured again and couldn't fight. And then this time, we, uh, we finally got her healthy, and she showed up, and she looked like a million dollars. And uh, Jessica... Uh, we are very happy to have you fighting for us. We're very happy that you're not injured and you put on a great show tonight. So thank you for showing up uninjured and performing like a champ. And we're looking forward to seeing you in the semifinals of our female tournament as well. Um, last but not least, a uh, gentleman sitting over to my left, Eves Edwards, uh, came in. He's never fought for us before, but of course everybody knows who he is. He put on a terrific performance tonight. Uh, in, a, in a great fight, and thanks to some early knockouts, his fight made the nationally televised show. He looked, he looked terrific, and so it was a pleasure having you fight for us for the first time. She's really uh, glad to be in this tournament, and that um, she's really looking forward to moving forward in the next fight and the next opponents. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank, uh, again, Bellator and Bajorne for giving me this opportunity. Um, it's uh, the biggest opportunity of my uh, career, and uh, just uh, happy to be here and, and uh, happy to come out victorious again. Thank you. Uh, I, feel, I feel really happy uh, I perform here in, in uh, the Hard Rock. Um, I got a lot of friends, the Cuban community, and a lot of friends. Um, and I, I hope that I mean, um, in two months it's going to be even more packed this venue. Um, we got more time uh, to promote the event, and I'm looking forward to it. Say thanks again to Bellator for, for bringing me in. Um, it was funny end the fight. Um, fight a tough guy. Uh, I know my coaches don't like me, apologize for not finishing, but the guy was real tough, and it's kind of hard to put on a show after Hector does his thing. So I just want to say thanks for having me. We've got another show here coming up on October 28th. It closes out the season. It's a show where Hector Lombardo fight Alexander Slomenko. 
in our uh, first middleweight world title fight. Um, should be fireworks. Alexander Slamenko throws and knocks people out. And uh, Hector Lombard, of course, does what Hector Lombard does. So that should be a spectacular. Is the arm triangle your game plan the whole time, or did you just keep seeing it? Uh, well, I was my, my plan was to finish it as soon as possible. But uh, you know, I saw the opportunity. The opportunity was there, and I was listening to my to my coaches on my corner. So that was you know available, and I took the first opportunity to finish the fight. Question, Jessica, to you. Um, and this gets right to the heart of it. How did you know you wanted to be a fighter? And how did you learn to tolerate pain and keep focus on fights? Or well, in that, fights, rather. My, 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 uh, it was never a dream for me to become a professional MMA fighter. Four and a half years ago, I had no clue what MMA was. I had no clue what Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was. I had no clue what grappling was. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, I'm, I'm honored to be in the sport now. I've always been an athlete, so... I guess I just, it, the sport found me and, and I, I kind of got lucky, you know, and uh, to be, you know, to, to be in, to become an athlete again at an older age and, uh, you know, I'm here just motivated uh, with my team, you know, stay, stay focused and um, I, I'm just training hard, you know, it's, it's never been a dream, but now it's my dream, it's a passion of mine now and uh, I'm doing what I, I need to do to uh, continue it. Your matchup with Season 2 champion Alexander Shlomenko coming up October 28th here at Hard Rock Live. Yeah, um, I don't like to say, uh, you know, I don't like to predict any any uh, future fight. I do my talking in the, in the, in the ring or in the cage. Um, we respect... Um, Every, um, he, he, he say at uh, the weigh-in yesterday that he doesn't care for weight or bodybuilders. I don't do weight. All my, tra all my trainers are here. And all my training partners are here. And they know I don't never do weight. I don't even take a protein shakes. So, you know, keep it away out of your mind that I do weight because I don't do weight. Uh, you've had a very long career and... Uh, um, you've taken some long breaks. I uh, was just wondering how did it feel uh, getting back out there after a while and uh, going against a really tough young guy and having to go, you know, the full distance. How does your body feel? You know, do you think it's, you know, going to be something that you're going to be able to do for a long time to come? Oh, man. Um, as long as my, my goal with fighting is to get to the top again. I want to be the number one guy in the world again. And um, as long as I'm improving, as long as I can compete, I'm gonna keep doing this. This is this is something that I, I'm gonna be involved with fighting for the rest of my life. You know, um, fighting a guy like Luis, you know, a guy that I've trained with in the past. Um, he was at ATD for a minute, and um, he's a tough guy. You know, he's got um, he's beaten a couple of my friends, and um, it was good to get a win on a guy like that. A tough guy. I wanted to try to finish. I uh, realized in the first his defense was gonna be good, but you know, you just have to put the pressure on him and, and then try to break him. Um, he didn't want to break, so I just try to control the whole time. I feel good. My body feels great. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm going <laughs> to take a page from um, it, when, when, when Brock Lesnar was being a douche and say, I'm going to go home and enjoy my wife. <laughs> and then, um, you know, sometime next week, I'll try and figure out what's next for me. You know? Thank you. All right, our